swing style of Glenn Miller and the Dorseys. The band consists mostly of musical residents with, a very, with very few talented musicians from the community. We play swing tunes from the 40s and the 50s, as well as pop tunes that we may have listened to or danced to in your youth. We hope our music will bring back many happy memories. So sit back and enjoy the Willow Valley Silver and Gold Tones Band. Or if you want, get up and dance. was Witchcraft. It was released by Frank Sinatra in 1957 and has been recorded by many others since then. We started the evening with Witchcraft. Now we switch to Daybreak. The work was composed by Ferdy Groff in 1926 and was first performed that year by Paul Winchell's orchestra in New York City. Later, lyricist Harold Adamson wrote words to the music from the ballad theme of the suite's final movement. The resulting song was called Daybreak. In 1942, it was recorded and released by Harry James, Jimmy Dorsey, and Tommy Dorsey, and their orchestras and vocalists. All reached the top 20 of the national best-selling charts with Tommy Dorsey and his vocalist, some guy named Frank Sinatra, peaking, the number, peaking at number 10 in October of 1942. Sinatra recorded it again along with many of his 1940s hits on May 2nd, 1961 for the reprise album, I Remember Tommy.
The alto sax solo was by Conrad Stavitsky. And the trumpet solo by Randy Schumacher. Our next number, it's tango time. Kiss of Fire was premiered in Buenos Aires, Argentina in 1903 and is a popular song written by Angel Villoldo, an Argentine musician. It is the most popular tango in Argentina. Louis Armstrong sang the song in English using the title El Choco, Kiss of Fire. A number of local versions of Kiss of Fire re were recorded in the United States in 1952. The most popular was one by Georgia Gibbs, Sweet Georgia Gibbs, which reached number one on the Billboard chart. The song was introduced by Fred, Al Al Fred Astaire in 1937 in the film A Damsel in Distress. It was originally titled A Foggy Day in London Town in reference to the pollution induced pea soup fogs that were common in London during the period and is often still referred to by the full title. The commercial recording by Astaire for Brunswick Records was popular in 1937. It was performed by Frank Sinatra on his Songs for Young Lovers album in 1953. A Foggy Day in London Town will be sung by the inimitable Judy Conley from Manor.
Ain't she great? The trumpet solo was by Randy Schumacher. And our tenor sax solo was by Dave Hostetter. Our next number is Green Sleeves. It's a traditional English folk song. The ballad was registered by Richard Jones at the London Stationers Company in September 1580. Wow. There's a persistent belief that Green Sleeves was composed by Henry VIII for his lover and future queen consort, Anne Boleyn. Green Sleeves is the tune for the classic Christmas carol, What Child Is This? It has lyrics written by William Chatterton Dix in 1865 and set the tone that set the tone for Green Sleeves. Although written in Great Britain, Britain, the carol today is more popular in the United States than its country of origin.
During this evening's program, I will introduce you to members of the band. To begin with the trombone section, Dan Diller from Lancaster, <laughs> however you pronounce Lancaster, yeah. and Bob Doyle from Willow Street, both yeah. are men of the trombone. <laughs> now we go on. I remember singing along with Johnny Mathis on our next number. Misty was composed by Errol Garner in 1954 and was written as an instrumental recorded by Garner. Johnny Mathis told Garner he would love to sing it if there were lyrics. With lyrics added, it became Johnny's signature song and reached number 12 in 1959. Clint Eastwood, who was a fan of Mathis, used the instrumental version of Misty in the low-budget film, Play Misty for Me. The song was a box office success. In 1953, Ray Stevens released an up-tempo rendition, which reached number 14 in the US and number two in the UK. The Ray Stevens rendition won a Grammy for Musical Arrangement of the Year.
the alto sax solo was by Conrad Stanitsky. The trumpet solo by Randy Schumacher. And the trumpet solo by Dale Diller. Hey, got his name right. <laughs> Now I go back a little bit and I'm a Johnny Mercer fan. Early Autumn is a song that he composed with Ralph Burns and Woody Herman with the lyrics by Johnny Mercer. The song grew out of the fourth segment of Burns' summer sequence concert piece and was originally recorded by Woody Herman's band December 27, 1947 with an outstanding eight bar solo by soloist, by saxophonist Stan Getz. Herman asked Johnny Mercer to write lyrics in 1952, and he re-recorded the song, taking the vocal duties himself. Joe Stafford in 1952, and Ella Fitzgerald in 1956, are also known for their recordings of early autumn. This song features the silver and gold tones, saxophones. composed by George Gershwin in 1934 for the opera Porgy and Bess. The lyrics are by Ira Gershwin and DuBose Howard, the author of the novel Porgy, on which the opera was based. The song was recorded for the first time by Abby Mitchell on July 19, 1935, with George Gershwin playing the piano and conducting his orchestra. Ella Fitzgerald's 1968 recording is still looked upon as one of her greatest recordings ever. This number will be performed by our jazz quartet featuring 
Rick Hoover from Midrise on drum set. His wife, Linda, on string bass. Tom Conley from Manor on piano. And our vocalist, Judy Conley. section consists of three kinds of saxophones. Playing alto sax are Conrad Stadetsky from Garden Apartments and Pete Faber from North. <laughs> Playing tenor sax are Dave Hostetter from Landisville and Ginny Young from Midrise. Baritone sax is played by Bob Weaver from Lancaster. When I hear this next number, I just want to get up and dance. And you're all invited to if you'd like. In the Mood was number one hit by Glenn Miller. In the Mood was released by Edgar Hayes in 1938 and by Joe Garland with lyrics by Andy Raza. It topped the charts for 13 straight weeks. A year later, it was featured in the movie Sun Valley Serenade. The Glenn Miller song was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1983 and into the Library of Congress National Registry in 2004. It starts with a sax section theme, which develops into a sax chase duet between Conrad Stadisky on alto sax and Dave Hostetter on tenor sax. The, fo 
This followed by a trumpet solo by Dave Gare. Now let's get in the mood. probably would have gotten up and danced, but she's not here. <laughs> Somebody Loves Me is a popular song with music written by George Gershwin and lyrics by Ballard MacDonald and Buddy De Silva. The song was published in 1924 and featured in the George White Scandals in 1924, and first recordings of Somebody Loves Me were popular versions in 1924 and 1925 by Paul Whiteman and Cliff Edwards, also known as Ukulele Ike, with the Whiteman version being top rated. One of the latter known 
versions was by the Four Lads. It was recorded on August 18, 1952, and released by Columbia Records. It first reached the Billboard magazine charts on October 18, 1952. Let's welcome back Judy! <laughs> Sugar Blues was written in 1919 by Clarence Williams with words by Lucy Fletcher. It was initially recorded in 1922 by Leona Williams and her Dixie Band. It was later recorded by Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys, Nats Waller and Ella Fitzgerald with Chick Webb and his orchestra. The song became famous in 1936 when trumpeter Clyde McCoy adopted it as his theme song. 
This is our version of Sugar Blues featuring Randy Schumacher on trumpet. consists of Randy Schumacher from Providence Park, Tom Gare from Vistas, Roy Grube from Millersville, and some guy named Dave Heinzelman from North. Our next number was the popular song Moon Over Miami which was written in 1935 by songwriters Joe Burke and Edgar Leslie. The most popular early version of that was written, was sung by Eddie Duchin and, and his orchestra. Vaughn Monroe recorded a popular version in 1945 and Ray Charles included the song in his 1961 <coughs> album, Love Songs, a special edition. Listen to our version of the popular Cha cha cha. Moon over Miami.
Yes, I Love You is, an, is our next number. It was written by Gordon Jenkins with lyrics by Johnny Mercer. It was first recorded by Rudy Valley and performed by Rudy and his Connecticut Yankees in September of 1934. Rudy was known for singing with his megaphone. He sang on the radio in nightclubs and on stage with his orchestra. He was known for bringing up unknown singers to perform with him. One of them was my mother, Myrna Waverly. I have a recording that I was going to bring tonight, but I couldn't find it with me. Uh, autographed by Rudy, addressed to my mother. It was later recorded by Billie Holiday in 1954, as well as many others. Enjoy. section. The members of the rhythm section of the band are Rick Hoover from Midwise on drum set. There's Wes Linda playing string bass. Kay Decker from Lakes on piano. And Joan Simon on, from North on auxiliary percussion, percussion. It looks like a saxophone to me. Uh, and Ed Ken Kellen from Providence Park on guitar. Well, it's all about time for the Chattanooga Choo Choo. 
1941, written by Mac Gordon and composed by Harry Warren. It was originally recorded as a big band swing tune by Glenn Miller and his orchestra and featured in the 1941 movie, Sun Valley Serenade. It's the first song to receive a gold record presented by RCA Victor in 1942 for sales of 1.2 million copies. The featured singer was Tex Beneke, also recorded by Paula Kelly for the Modern Airs. All aboard! <laughs> songs we played for you triggered some happy memories of your past. Now, as the title of our final song says, return home and dream. <laughs> dream of those things that you listen to with your sweetheart. Dream of dancing to them at your senior prom. Dream of watching them on American Bandstand or Saturday night with Dorothy Collins or Giselle McKenzie or Snooky Lanson or Russell Arms when they sang on your hit parade. Dream on Sunday nights, and I'll bet you never missed Ed Sullivan. <laughs> but whatever you do, be sure you have many happy dreams. Good night, and have a great tomorrow.